I believe that even more important than other people believing in you is you believing in yourself. I believe every young man has a certain destiny, a dream, something they want to be. But sometimes life gets in the way and some men find it easier to just lay down. Other men, they fight. They fight with everything they've got. They fight with the heart of a lion. And they achieve their goals and their dreams and what they think might be greatness. But even those men sometimes get hit and they too fall down. Some men, some men, very few, very few, and no matter how hard it might be, refuse, refuse to stay down, stay down, stay down. My name, my name is E O T O T I C O. My name, my name is E O T O T I C O. My name, my name is E O T O T I C O. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. This is something most people don't know. If you can earn a hundred, you can earn a million. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Repeat after me, please. I'll never be broke again. Yes, write that down. I affirm that I'll never be broke again. Never. Never. Will I ever be broke again? Now think of this for a moment. Money makes a big difference in all the important areas of our life. Now think about it for a moment. Money is meant to make us comfortable. The more comfortable we are, the more creative we'll become. The more creative we are, the more service we can render. The more service we render, the more money we will earn. Let me tell you what money does. Number one, it gives you control over your life. Write that down. Number two, it gives you options. Three, it allows you to live a life of contribution, to contribute to things that you feel strongly about. So here's the first step to accumulating wealth. If you expect to do it, write this down. You must be willing to do the things today others won't do. In order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Number one, make discipline a major force in your life. Here's something else that most people won't do. Make it okay to fail. Repeat after me, please. Anything that's worth doing is worth doing badly. Yeah, see, anything is worth doing is worth doing right, as we have been taught, if you know how to do it. But if you don't know how to do it, it's worth doing badly until you get it right. You see, there's something inside of you that's urging you to grow. This is the spiritual side of our personality. It's the essence of our being, and spirit's always for expansion and fuller expression. There's something in you that wants you to grow. If you run, you want to run faster. If you jump, you want to jump higher. If you sell, you want to sell more. This is good. 
It causes dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction is a creative state. And if you give yourself just a little bit of time, and if you'll be a little more loving to yourself, I think you're gonna find you got a lot to give. I can fucking feel it. 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 And I know fucking people. And you know I do. That's right. Thank you. And I know you right now. Can you feel me? Yes, I do. So you and I are going to make a deal. I'm going to show you what to do to reshape yourself. That would be nice. And we're going to make it so you can enjoy yourself. Not just when you're jerking off, other times too. And what you're going to do is you're going to remember as long as you live that I don't fucking bullshit. And you've seen it, haven't you? Yes. Do I tell the fucking truth? Even when it's painful? Even when it's not sweet? Yes. I'm telling you the truth. You've just fucking begun and you're not going to fuck it up. You're going to take the time to fully develop and you're going to find a way to enjoy a little bit along the way. There you go. You've got some expectations from this. I do not let people waste my time because if it does not measure up to my expectations, I'm not going to invest my time. I'm expecting some great things from life. And so I have to spend some time working on myself and developing myself. So examine your expectations versus your wishes. If some people wish they could do better. But some people expect to do better. Do you want to be successful? Yes. Do you want to live a life of productivity? Yes. Do you want to live a life of contribution? Yes. Do you want to be a better father? Do you want to have your own business? Yes. Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior. Here's number one, love yourself. Make caring for you the highest priority in your life. Take care of you, look out for what truly satisfies you. So make a conscious effort, make you number one priority. Your peace of mind, your health is more important than your family and any and everybody. Because if you don't have peace of mind, if you don't have your health, you can't serve anybody. Don't neglect yourself. So start taking care of yourself, looking out for you. Develop a health plan. Your health is all you got. So start taking care of you, eating nutritious meals, willing to exercise your body, taking care of this body, loving yourself. So do some good stuff for yourself on purpose. Take some time out for you. You've got some expectations from this. 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 Do you want to be successful? Yes. Do you want to live a life of productivity? Yes. Do you want to live a life of contribution? Yes. Do you want to be a better father? Do you want to have your own business? Yes. Are there dreams you want? Everybody will say yes. But see, want shows up in conversation. Expectation shows up in behavior. You've got some expectations from this. 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 Now write this down. You don't have to be great to get started, but you have to get started to be great. You see, there's something inside of you that's urging you to grow. This is the spiritual side of our personality. It's the essence of our being and spirits always for expansion and fuller expression. There's something in you that wants you to grow. If you run, you want to run faster. If you jump, you want to jump higher. If you sell, you want to sell more. This is good. It causes dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction is a creative state. That's the one point that everybody's agreed on, is you become what you think about. That's the one point that everybody's agreed on, is you become what you think about. That's the one point that everybody's agreed on, is you become what you think about. That's the one point that everybody's agreed on, is you become what you think about. That's the one point that everybody's agreed on, is you become what you think about.
That's the one point that everybody's agreed on, is you become what you think about. That's the one point that everybody's agreed on, is you become what you think about. Anything that's worth doing, is worth doing badly until you get it right. Anything that's worth doing, is worth doing badly until you get it right. Anything that's worth doing, is worth doing badly until you get it right. The truth is you can do anything you want to do. The truth is you can do anything you want to do. The truth is you can do anything you want to do. Cover your head with who you are. What would a person like who you are do? Not what would a person like who you were do? Spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessings. Spirit blessings. Blessings in my spirit. Healed in my spirit. Free in my spirit. Creative in my spirit. God said, I'm going to make a transfer from my wealth account into your wealth account. And it's going to go spirit to spirit. It's not going to go spirit to flesh because I cannot wire to the flesh. I'm going to wire to the spirit. So I'm going to heal you in your spirit and then your spirit is going to heal your body. I'm going to prosper you in your spirit and then that prosperity is going to hit your finances. I'm going to preach in your spirit and then you're going to open your mouth and preach. He puts the spirit. He he puts it in my spirit. He puts the message in my spirit. And then all I got to do is get up and speak out what he spoke in. That's how you're going to get out of debt. That's how you're going to get healed. That's how you're going to be free. He's going to speak it into you. You're going to push it out of you. It's going to start in your spirit. I know who I am. Not who I was, who I am. I know what he had in mind for my life. I know I will not die today. You know why you can't kill me today? I ain't finished. Nobody can do you like you do you. You are in a class all by yourself. Nobody can do you like you do you. Nobody. Nobody. You'd be shocked what you could do if you would know what I just said. If you would just breathe in what I just said. You wouldn't be so insecure. You wouldn't be so intimidated. You wouldn't be so vulnerable. There will never be another you. You are in a class all by yourself. You got a voice like nobody. You got a fingerprint like nobody. You got thoughts like nobody. You are in a class all by yourself. If anybody ever loves you, you ain't got to worry about nobody taking them. Because if they love you, you are one Let's think of this for a moment. Successful people take their income up to meet their standard of living. Do you know why? They understand how to do it. One, what am I doing? What am I doing? Number two, what works? What works? Number three, what doesn't work? Now, when we've analyzed this, let's make up our mind that we're going to stop doing what doesn't work and take all that energy and, and, and that time and put it into what does work. Now think about it for a moment. Money is meant to make us comfortable. The more comfortable we are, the more creative we'll become. The more creative we are, the more service we can render. The more service we render, the more money we will earn, you see? How would your life change if your monthly income, boom, just like that became your weekly income? It wasn't a lottery, it's every Friday. How would your life change if your annual income, bang, like that became your monthly income? If on the 15th of every month, you earned what you earned all last year. Anything that's worth doing, is worth doing badly until you get it right. I moved from M1 to M3, just woo, like that. Anything that's worth doing, is worth doing badly until you get it right. I moved from M1 to M3, just woo, like that. Think of this for a moment. Your starting point should be ideas. Let's let the present results dictate where we've been at. Let's learn something about ourselves. Let's start with the idea, the idea in our mind. What do you really want? Let that idea then dictate how you feel. How you feel is going to control how you act, and how you act is going to produce the results that you're getting. That's the way you improve the results. And then you look at the improved results, you adapt to the change, to the change in the condition, circumstance, and environment, and then you start out with a new idea. 
You see, it all boils down to the decision. It really does. You got to make the decision that you're going to change. Everything else on the goal card should be written in the present tense. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. I am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple sources on a continuous basis. Everything else on the goal card should be written in the present tense. I am. I am. So happy, so happy, so happy, grateful, grateful, grateful that I'm healthy, that I'm healthy, that I'm healthy with energy, with energy, with energy, and I expect, and I expect, and I expect to be, to be, of all time, of all time, millionaire, millionaire, worth, worth, eleven, eleven, million, million dollars, dollars. Once you become the inner voice, now your outer voice has power. Now when you speak, it's not just a shell speaking. There's a being speaking through the shell. I am, I am, I so am, happy, so, so happy, so, so happy, grateful, so grateful, grateful that I'm healthy, that I'm healthy, that I'm healthy. That I'm healthy. With energy, with energy, with energy, and I expect, and I expect, and I expect to be, to be, of all time, of all time, millionaire, millionaire, worth, worth, eleven, eleven, million, million dollars, dollars. I am so happy and grateful. You've already got it in your conscious mind. And as you get emotionally involved, you've already got it in your emotional mind. And it's only a period of time until it moves into form. You gotta make the decision. So you start out, your goal, that's the idea. You see the goal. This is where I am. And then that will dictate the kind of feelings you have. You see? That'll dictate your actions. And that'll produce the win. Now you've got a goal and you want to impress it upon the universal subconscious mind. And when you do, the entire universe comes to your aid. Once you become the inner voice, now your outer voice has power. Now when you speak, it's not just a shell speaking. There's a being speaking through the shell. That may sound like a bizarre statement, but I'm gonna tell you that's exactly what happens. You don't have to know how you're gonna do it. You only have to know you're going to do it. So here's the deal. You start out, you fantasize. You see it. You believe it. And you do it. And you want to know something? That's how you're going to create the life you want. A step at a time. Now I want you to repeat after me, please. We got to recondition our minds first. Let us say together, good things are supposed to happen to me. Yeah, write that down. I want you to say that to yourself every day. Watch your words. Watch what you say about yourself, about your affairs. Be conscious of that on a daily basis. Why? Because your words are powerful. In the beginning was the word. Life and death is in the tongue. Watch what you say. Never say I'm broke. Say I'm overcoming a cash flow problem. Claim what you want, not what you don't want. So affirm good things are supposed to happen to me and begin to believe that. Begin to expect that. You have something special. You have talents and abilities in you that you don't even know. So how do we begin to create wealth? Let me give you some, some ideas. Number one, write this down, knowledge. What knowledge that you have in this economy, part of what we need, that people are willing to pay you for that. Next is talent. What talent? Dion's talent is playing football. I didn't have that as a talent. My talent is talking. To me, my definition of success is doing what you love to do and find somebody to pay you to do it. You want to master your talent. Find out what it is that you love to do. I love to talk. Scripture is another key that says to us what we need to do to begin to develop ourselves. Luke 12, 34, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. 
So what do you love to do? And then explore ways in which you can earn a living doing that. The other thing is not only must you have knowledge, talent, some skill, but the other thing that's important, faith to act on whatever your dream is. See, that faith is very important. So the faith to act on those dreams, those desires. Here's scripture that I, that I like very much. Proverbs 16, 16 chapter, third verse. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Commit means to carry into action deliberately. Commit means to make it happen no matter what. Commitment, the difference between next time you have bacon and eggs, the chicken was involved, the pig was committed. He had to give it all up. That's gonna take a minute to sink in tonight, all right? See, when you make a commitment, I'm gonna become wealthy. When you make it important, when you decide I'm gonna do it no matter what, life changes for you. See, most people don't keep their commitments to their commitments. That's why they lead lives of poverty, lives of misery, lives of unhappiness. Socrates said the uncommitted life isn't worth living. So part of what you must do, whatever commitment, whatever covenant you make with God while you're here, to go back to be a better father, to go back to make a difference in the community, to go back to change your life, to decide not to ever to use drugs or alcohol again, to decide to be, that you're going to begin to recreate yourself, that you're going to be reborn to a new state of consciousness. Whatever commitment that you make, keep your commitment to your commitment. No matter what, if it's hard, then do it hard. But keep your commitment to your commitment. It's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're gonna have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, you gotta be hungry. And as you run towards your dream, that if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it, and if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it and if you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence and stern pertinacity if neither cold poverty, famish or gold, sickness or pain or body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want if dark and grim you besiege and beset it with the help of God you'll get it. You gotta have just as much confidence when you're winning as you do when you're losing. Cause that's what makes your confidence really look valid. The key is know yourself and become more effective. That's all you have to do. And the more you know about yourself, the better off you're going to be. And the more the universe will reward you. The truth is you can do anything you want to do. That's the one point that everybody's agreed on, is you become what you think about. This is something most people don't know. I moved from M1 to M3, just woo, like that. I am. So happy, so happy, so happy, grateful, so happy, grateful, grateful that I'm healthy, that I'm healthy, that I'm healthy with energy, with energy, with energy, and I expect, and I expect, and I to be, to be, of all time, of all time, of millionaire, millionaire, worth, worth, eleven, eleven, million, million, million dollars, dollars.